well, something was definitely wrong with this unit here. I noticed super cold air coming out of it, and a lot colder than what was normal. Um, had like air in the low 40s coming out of there. So I moved my return sensor to see what kind of air I've got coming into it, because it's its own system, and I've got like air in the 40s coming into it. So then I'm like, okay, there is a bypass damper issue. There's your bypass duct right there. Let me find the bypass uh, damper. Maybe it just hasn't been set up correctly. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's been unhooked uh, because it broke. Oh, but don't worry. We don't need a bypass damper. Let's just take a nylon strap and choke the crap out of that duct and call it a day. You guys are killing me. This is the bypass damper that broke. The little arm right here comes out of the guide and so they just removed it choked it down and just left it uh, why you would put a 14 inch bypass damper on a three ton air handler to begin with is beyond me all right so here's what I did uh, I capped off the supply capped off the return got to touch up some insulation there and this is an encapsulated attic so they have like a little supply vent right here as you can see that's not a great idea uh, so that's just barely cracked open that's the only means of conditioning this attic so we're just going to kind of leave that as is but the main thing I wanted to do was get rid of this bypass that was just bypassing supply air continuously into the return plenum. They disabled this zone system and really just turned it back into a single thermostat system. The reason why the contractor before me bypassed this zone control is because they had a big zone on the main floor and a really tiny zone in the bonus room and when the tiny zone called because it's on the third level it's going to call a lot more often than the main floor uh, this unit really ran like a piece of crap it froze up it was having all kinds of problems so they essentially just disabled all the zoning controls but left the board here so we just have one more thing that could potentially fail uh, the problem is you still have zone dampers that are connected You've got a lot of things going on here that still require this zone module to be powered up. Uh, I really hate that companies just kind of leave it like this, though. All right, well, we've got our measure quick probes connected. We're doing a non-invasive test. I've already got this system set up in measure quick as I've previously serviced it. So another reason why I like measure quick's non-invasive system testing is because I can put all my temperature probes at the indoor unit and I don't have to put a ladder up here to gauge up. And that's what makes Measure Quick so unique is that it gives us readily available the ability to test out the system performance without having to get to the condensing unit to gauge up. Now, I just did a PM on both those units a couple weeks ago. I know everything's clean. I know everything looks good. I've been up there already. But now this second time as I return to make some repairs, I don't have to get up there again because I already know all that's good and I can test the system without gauging up simply by using my temperature clamps and probes on the inside.